guys it's your girl chastity elise with another video this quarantine slash lockdown slash stay in place order that we currently have is driving me nuts um so you guys will be seeing a lot of videos from me um with this particular video i am wearing my rock star shirt today and so basically i'm gonna do a quick rundown of experiences that i have meeting different celebrities not that anybody cares, but hopefully it's somewhat entertaining. So anyway, um, October of 2011, I met Chris Brown at one of his concerts. Um, it was a backstage meet and greet, and basically we're supposed to get a picture with him and then um, have a poster signed, autographed. And um, one of my best friends has a birthday in October, so I had a card, a birthday card for her. I asked him if he would mind signing it. And um, he actually did. He ended up signing it for her. And um, just overall, my experience meeting him um, is that he is a nice person. Despite what happened, um, he is um, he was a very nice person, and I enjoyed meeting him. Um, my next meet and greet would have been in March of last year, where um, you know how you have those old school boy bands that, like, you were a teenager and you swooned over them and whatnot. So. One of those boy bands was B2K. So as you all know, they were doing the Millennium Tour and um, I got me and one of my other friends, we got to meet them um, back in March of last year. And so we had backstage passes to go and see them. And um, when we got up there, it was like, it was supposed to be a meet and greet, but it was very rushed. like. The Chris Brown one, we just go in, you know, we talk to him, whatever, take pictures, you get a, um autograph and you move on. But with this, it was like, you just get up, like you get up to the tape and then you got 10 seconds to get up there and take a picture with them and then you leave. And I'm just like, well, we didn't really have any time to actually meet them. <laughs> it's like, you know, you just get enough time to walk by and shake everybody's hand and then you got to get in place for your picture and hope to God that your pose looks good because you're only going to get one picture and that's it. Um, so, that was a very different experience because it was very rushed. It was very rushed and then, um, two, I feel like when people wear sunglasses, I feel like there's a disconnect. Like you say, eyes are the window to the soul. Well, I can't really, we can't really connect with your soul if you have sunglasses on. And everybody had on sunglasses. I mean, I get it, whatever, like, I'm a celebrity, let me put my sunglasses on. But um, anyway, we came through, they were wearing sunglasses, they did a quick countdown, you get your picture and you get out of there. That was it. Um, and then my next meet and greet would be with um, Sway Lee from Ray Shremmerd, and that was in October. I went there and I got to meet him with one of my other best friends. And so um, when we met him, we were supposed to just get a picture and then, you know, you move on. But um, meeting him, he had a lot of energy and it was a really great experience to meet him. And it did not feel rushed. There was no, like, you got 10 seconds, get the best picture that you can and move on. It was not rushed at all. And I felt that it was very genuine and I feel like he was trying to connect, truly connect with his fans. And that's the experience that I got. And I really, really appreciated it. So I would say that out of the meet and greets that I have had, I would say that um, meeting Chris Brown and meeting Sway Lee are definitely worth it. Um, meeting B2K, I mean, it was worth it in the sense that this is like a group that I had a crush on back when I was a teenager. And, you know, I had, a, you know, like, everybody loved them. We all loved them as teenagers. And it's just like, you know, finally getting to meet them. It's like crazy. So, I mean, I mean, it's a good memory to have. And, you know, you would think that because obviously they have not been together. They haven't put out any recent music or anything like that. However, they still have fans that love and appreciate them and are willing to pay to go to a concert and are willing to pay to go backstage to meet them. Seemed like they would want to spend a little bit more time with them than to just give them 10 seconds to hurry up and take a photo. Um, so anyway, um, that was my experience so far. Um, hopefully, I don't know with this whole coronavirus thing, I don't know how many meet and greets are even gonna be happening anymore. 
Um, but hopefully that's not something that is completely cut out and hopefully we can get past um, coronavirus. I mean, I'm sure at some point we will, but hopefully we can get past it and that meet and greets are not something that goes away. Um, just because I feel like it's a great way to connect and genuinely kind of get to know your fans and for your fans to get to know you as an artist. Um, and it just gives you that personal, that personal touch and that personal experience, which is really great. Um, so anyway, um, that is the end of this video. Um, please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at chastity.elise. And also check me out on SoundCloud. Talk your ish, I'll spit that fire. By the time I'm done, your question, should I retire? Malleable just like a wire. Versatile, can wear any attire.